I've already shuffled and will be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up and then we'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be and then we'll find out what the outcome is. So Pisces, the recent past energy between you and your person, Eight of Wands, and it with the King of Swords. Now the Eight of Wands, it's showing that uh, there were probably things that were up in the air for you. You may have been frustrated, tired of waiting, but the Eight of Wands can be an indicator that you need to be patient a while longer. You may have done all that you can do, and now decisions needed to be made by other people. So when you get this card in a reading, nothing seems to be moving ahead, but don't try to force things because it could backfire on you. Just know that sometimes our actions, they're all in the risk. They're all in the risk. And all you can do is put your best out there and see where it lands. You put your best out there. Now you just have to wait. Eight of Wands, like I said, it's with the King of Swords, which can often stand for a very powerful, opinionated, forceful type of person. He will often, but not always, have hair on the darker end of the spectrum. Also, when you get this card in a reading, you may be tempted to think about how things affect you personally, how they only affect you. Especially when this card is not representing someone in your life. So you might want to consider the feelings of others before you act. King of Swords, like I said, it's a very, very forceful energy. You may not be able to get this man or this person in your life to change their mind or to do what you want. So you might have to change something major about your behavior, thoughts, and expectations. So I'm getting Pisces for you and your person. Person's recent past energy, Eight of Wands, clarified by this King of Swords. It looks like uh, I'm just uh, picking up that there was a lot of back and forth communication and it was unpleasant. Probably a lot of bickering, a lot of arguing. Um, oh, just a lot of forceful, cold energy, back and forth communication. It was like you two were fighting each other, or it could have felt like your person was fighting you with their words, just beating you up verbally, a lot of it. I'm just looking at those wands, how they're just shooting you're shooting up in the air. It, yeah. And this King of Swords can be, like I said, very forceful, opinionated. Uh, King of Swords will overstep their bounds and they will mistreat you. So, yeah, you were dealing with, uh, your person was, the person you were dealing with, they were, they were not very nice. And everything probably seemed like it was happening. Um, either really, maybe really fast and forceful, maybe a lot of just cutting you with their words. Um, yeah, you're dealing with someone that just was not nice to you. And I'm just getting a lot of communication, a lot of verbal, um, communication, and it was probably really nasty, nasty, bad, like mean, nasty. But, um, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. We've got the Four of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. 
Now the Four of Swords, it can, it can signify that there's a need for a break. Could be from normal life. This can also mean that you or someone in your life may withdraw for a time. The withdrawal is not likely to be permanent. It can also mean time away. Yeah. It's a sign to give people their space. You could be needing, you could be needing some time and space to yourself. Others could be pushing too hard for bits and time of your attention. Don't hesitate to draw boundaries for yourself or to just say no. On the other hand, when others say no to you, take them at their word, because if you push it, push it in circumstance, it could be asking for trouble. Now, it's with the Ace of Pentacles. With the Ace of Pentacles, you could find yourself enjoying new beginnings on several levels. And these would be very positive new beginnings. You could be feeling optimistic, upbeat, hopeful about the future. Things should be going really well. You could be starting something new very soon. And this could be in the area of work or personally. Either way, it's a really good thing with the Ace of Pentacles. So yeah, this is um, showing coming up for you in your person, Four of Swords, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, it looks like you realize it's time for a new beginning, a new fresh start. Because I'm, I'm just getting that you're getting a lot of conflict, a lot of fighting with with your person. And it looks like coming up, you're just gonna you just be realizing that this is just this needs to be over. Time for a new beginning. It looks like you realize you need a break. Because the Four of Swords is about resting after a struggle. So, yeah, I'm getting, maybe you two had a big fight. And it was nasty. It was just bad. Because the King of Swords is actually considered the narcissist in the tarot. So, you're probably dealing with a narcissist. Um, yeah, someone who's really cold. Things are all about them. And, like I said, the King of Swords will mistreat you and be very, very forceful. Abrasive. And they'll cut you with their words. Make you feel really tiny. Make you feel really small. So, yeah, it looks like you're, you're needing a break. Rest after struggle. Because if you look at the Four of Swords, it's the card above the word present. This man, he went to the top of the mountains and he took his four dogs and four swords and a candle. And he just went to sleep. And if anyone was to bother him, he'd pull out those four swords and he would use them. Yes, he would. He put a candle in his shoe because he plans on being, being there overnight or maybe a couple of nights. Yeah, Pisces, you need you need a break from this person, from life maybe, from the situation, from the connection, and you're realizing, coming up, you're going to be realizing that it's time for a fresh new start. So, let's move on over, let's see what the challenge is going to be, we got the Fool card, and it's with the Nine of Pentacles. Now, the Fool card is actually a... It's another indicator of newness, a new beginning possibly, in one form or another. In many ways, it indicates the purity and the open-hearted energy and the innocence of a child. We know children, they're trusting, and trust, trust forms the basis of meaning for this card. This is considered a positive card. The full card is... But it's going to be important for you to take time to be sure that you're looking where you're going. Because if you trust yourself to take a step into the unknown, that's one thing. But if you do so without any thought whatsoever, it can be a big mistake. As you can see, that's what he's doing. Yeah, he's ready for a new beginning. Just ready to jump right on in there. But he's not watching where he's going, so... That's all blue water below him. Looks like maybe the Pacific Ocean. 
So, yeah. Ready to take a leap, just run off. Risk taker. Now, through the Nine of Pinnacles, which is one of the most uplifting, encouraging cards in the deck. This can mean that your financial worries, they're over for a while and that things in general will be going better than you thought possible. So, enjoy this good energy. Share your wealth and happiness with others. So, the challenge we got for you, Pisces. The Fool... Clarified by the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. It just, it looks like you're ready to live your best life. I don't know how long you've been with this King of Swords. Like I said, some of you are dealing with a narcissist, and we all know that's not easy. If you know anything about narcissists. Yeah, you're just ready to run off. Just take a leap of faith. Maybe towards someone that you know already. Or just ready for someone new. Or something new. Maybe just a new life. A new day. But you're ready. Maybe you've been stuck in this situation with this King of Swords for a long time. And you realize that you've been there too long. And it's just time to take a risk on something new and better. Because you're with the Nine of Pentacles, it's showing that things are going to be better than you thought possible. And you're feeling it. You're feeling that it's time to live your best life. And you're ready. Yeah, because like I said, the fool, Kurt, the fool is a risk taker. They will run off on you. you. Just jump right on in and take a leap. The fool could be a traveler. So maybe you're thinking about traveling or moving along, moving out of state or out of the country. <laughs> you're ready to go for it. You know, you've been bogged down with this person, this king of swords, for too long. And it's probably brought you down. Showing that you need to rest. Showing that that's you up there in the mountains. Withdrawing from life and from people. Yeah, this person weighed you down. So, let's see what the outcome is. We got the King of Pen. No, that's the King of Wands. Yeah, we got the King of Wands here. King of Wands is good. King of Pentacles is good too, but that's not the King of Pentacles. That's the King of Wands, the card above the word outcome. Hands with the High Priestess. Now, the King of Wands is basically about knowing, maybe you know someone who has a lot of caring and protective feelings for you. That's how the King of Wands is. Uh, they'll want to serve as a mentor for you, possibly. They just care a lot about you, whoever this is. And it's with the High Priestess. Now, the High Priestess, it can mean that you're in a phase where you're going to be much more physically attractive to others. The High Priestess is tied to the moon, to femininity, inspiration. This can be a time to rely on your intuition and your inner knowledge rather than your conscious mind or intellect. It's also important that you pay attention to your dreams. If you keep a dream diary or a journal, it would be a really good idea. So, this could actually be a magical, mystical time for love if you're interested. If you are a woman, you could find people literally throwing themselves at you. The problem is, is that you'll attract all kinds, the good, the bad, the ugly. And it's not always easy to tell which is which. So, the outcome for you, Pisces, King of Wands, clarified by this High Priestess. So, yeah, basically... 
Yeah, do it. <coughs> yeah, there's someone that um, is either coming toward you or someone that you know that cares a lot about you. Or you'll find out that this person wants to protect you and they have feelings for you. It, for some of you, very, for very few of you, it's going to be this King of Swords. For a few of you. They might make a, a reappearance or come towards you and tell you that they care a lot about you. But for most of you, because we got this new, this full card, and we got the Ace of Wands, which is about new beginnings. They're both new beginnings. For most of you, it's someone new. And for some of you, it's already someone that you know. You're ready to take a leap of faith towards them. Because you know this person cares about you. Yes, someone that you know or someone new. You can really feel it with the King of Wands. That they've got emotions for you. They want to protect you and they, they care a lot about you. You know someone like this Pisces. And it looks like you're, you're ready to go towards them. You're going to jump right on in. This person finds you very, very attractive. Very attracted to you. And it looks like that's where you're heading. You're about to jump right on in there. You feel like you could you could live your best life with this person. So Pisces, that is the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonated. And as you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below on the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Pisces, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there, it's going to pass and we'll all get through this. So stay strong, take good care of yourself. Come back and join me for the next Pisces reading, which will be in about another four or five days. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind, the roles can be switched. You could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could actually be a friend. Could be a family member or a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates because these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So Pisces, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. And take care.